This is cooking with ME, myalgic encephalomyelitis. A lot of CFS Redditors asked me if I could cover meal prep in my videos. And while I don't subscribe to the full Sunday, spend all day making food thing, uh, I realized that I have the hardest time getting vegetables together. So since I struggle with vegetables, I decided to come up with kind of a foolproof way to have them ready. I'm rating this recipe 50%, though if you used pre-cut vegetables, I could maybe see 40%. This recipe makes enough vegetables for two people for about five days. To get started, you'll need to preheat your oven to 425F, 220C, then grab two half sheet trays, couple of bowls, some neutral oil, I'm going to use light olive, salt, pepper, a sharp knife, please make sure it's sharp, and of course your vegetable haul. I've got acorn squash, some bell peppers, broccoli crowns, and multicolored tomatoes, but your vegetables, your choice. About an hour before I got started, I washed my vegetables and then left them on a towel to dry until I was ready for them. When I'm recharged and ready to go, I'll just move the tomatoes to a little bowl. Then I'll get started on this broccoli. I will cut this into kind of big bite-sized chunks. So I'll just take off the florets and cut them down. I will also cut up the stems and roast those because I like them. Then just get those into a bowl for later. And then I'll tidy up a little bit before I start on this acorn squash. I love acorn squash, but the skin on this one was pretty tough and they're like impossible to peel. So next time I'm going butternut all the way. Anyway, I've cut off the bottom of the squash so that it has a flat place to stand. Then I'll carefully remove the stem end. I'll stand it up on my cutting board, slide my knife down through the middle, and then scoop out the seeds. I'm gripping the spoon down at the base where the bowl meets the handle, and that gives me more leverage for scooping out the seeds and fibers and all that junk. Okay, I will cut the cleaned acorn squash into about one inch slices. Most pre-cut stuff is going to be like one inch cubes, so that'll work great. I'm just trying to ensure an even cook on all of these vegetables. I really don't want to have to like pull one out and then continue, etc. Let's move on to the peppers. The way I like to do these now is to take my knife and run it perpendicularly in a circle around the stem so that I'm only cutting off those top nubs and leaving the stem intact. So then you can just grab it and easily remove the ribs and seeds. I trimmed the bottom of the pepper too before slitting the side and then unrolling it. Now that our vegetables are all prepped, they need a healthy coating of olive oil. For the broccoli, I will toss it in a bowl with about a tablespoon of olive oil, two to three large pinches of salt, and a couple of cracks of black pepper. Once that is lubed and seasoned, I'll move it over to a sheet tray and spread it out into a single layer. I'm going to fill in the gap at the bottom with my unfurled peppers. I'll oil and season them right on the tray. Same with my acorn squash slices. They're going to go on a new sheet tray arranged in a single layer and get oiled and seasoned. And finally, I will treat the tomatoes the same way as the broccoli, oiled and seasoned in the bowl. And then I'm going to spread those out into the open space at the bottom of my squash pan. At the last minute, I decided to throw on some sage and a few garlic cloves tossed in oil so they won't burn. Now slide your trays full of goodness into a 425F 220C oven for about 30 minutes, but we're going to check them after 15. So after 15 minutes, I'll come check for doneness and rotate the trays. Because as you can see, one of the tray bottoms is getting the benefit of added heat from my baking steel, and the other one is not. So I want to make sure those get equal hot steel time. So after about 15 more minutes, I came back to take a look and poke everything with my skewer. I am satisfied with the doneness of each vegetable, so I'll remove my sheet trays and place them on a cooling rack. All right, if you're going to store these in glass, you can go ahead and transfer them now. If you plan to store 
your vegetables in plastic, let them cool down. You can find temperature limits for different plastics via Google. Not a bad idea to look that up if you're concerned about it. Anyway, we're going to eat these for dinner tonight, and then I will put the leftovers into a container once they're cool. So before I did all this work, I forgot to consider what dinner would look like after I did all this work. So I was pretty fatigued, and um, I just decided to roast some chicken. So I butterflied a couple of chicken breasts, rubbed them with olive oil and salt and pepper. Then I put them on one of my used sheet trays that I squirted some more oil onto and then put the chicken into that same 425 F oven. After 12 to 15 minutes, it's done. So I'll rest it on a wire rack and go rest for at least five minutes. When I come back, I will slice that up and then plate myself a warm vegetable salad with chicken. I'll put down a few of these acorn squash pieces and then nestle in some roasted broccoli and bell peppers. Next, I'll put a few strips of the roast chicken. Then I'll top it off with some of the roast tomatoes and then some fresh chef, balsamic reduction, and fancy olive oil. Wow, so much yum. All right, now we've got a week's worth of vegetables for two people minus one dinner's worth. Here's what we're gonna do with the leftovers. We'll use some of the roasted acorn squash for a super quick wok brown butter gnocchi. This is store-bought shelf-stable gnocchi with a wok-made brown butter sauce, including sage and lemon, and then the roasted acorn squash, garnished with some fresh chev, of course, and parmesan. Okay, day two. Easy leftover vegetable recipe complete. Day three, I want potatoes. Guess what? I'm gonna roast them, then smash them, then top them with some of our roasted peppers, roasted chicken from last night, and roasted broccoli. Then a quick gravy and some shredded cheese for what I'm calling an infamous bowl. Yep, that's what I said. Okay, what day were we on? Uh, four, I think. I have leftover mashed potatoes, some roasted vegetables left, and a pound of ground beef. So I made mini meatloafs with the gra some breadcrumbs, stock, aromatics, and I used the last of what I had of the roasted red pepper and roasted tomatoes inside the meatloaf itself. Then just mashed potatoes and broccoli on the side. Broccoli is now gone. Let's see, what do we got left? It's a uh, Friday night, pizza night, and there's only roasted acorn squash left. So here we go. That's right, I put acorn squash on a pizza and I didn't film myself making it, so you just get a picture. It really was good. One day I did make myself a bonus snack. I had some focaccia and I just added a bit of the acorn squash and roasted red pepper to that with some goat cheese and mozzarella. And then I grilled it, so it's just a little panini. I hope this video inspires you to add some vegetables to your meals. If you tried this out, let me know what you did, which vegetables you chose, and how you use them throughout the week. Thank you for being with me, and be excellent to each other.